night is Halloween, the night when witches, goblins, and ghosts howl and shriek and scare the life out of people. But unlike the other ghosts is Casper. He doesn't want to scare people. He just wants to be friendly. Here's some candy for So, off to the donkey, try and go. Skip to the loo, skip to the loo, skip to the loo, skip to the 
skittles will round him out. Bob, here's some grub. Wow, more chow. Gee, boss, you're gonna slay me with your kindness. but skin and bones. <laughs> Please, boss. Let's bury the hatchet. Uh, all right. I will. In your neck! <laughs> like a well-dressed turkey. Here I am, boss. Let me out, boss. I feel stuffy in here.
Rich Dog? What a story! Give it a full page spread. Hello, Jackson. If you don't dig up some more dirt in that can can canine case, you'll be in the doghouse. Hey, Snapper, did you get any sensational pictures today? Yes, boss. I got a terrific picture. Watch this. Wait, this is a picture of a polar bear in a snowstorm. Doggone it, I want a sensational picture. Like an earthquake. <laughs> or a flood. Or a hurricane. What a sensational picture this will make. Help! I'm gonna jump! Hold it. Okay. My picture is ruined. General Barker, how about a picture, sir? <clears throat> well, just one, boy. Thanks, General. Just a minute, sir. Steady now, General. As a photographer, I'm a flop. My gosh, a bank holdup. Oh boy, that's Muggsy. How about a smile, Muggsy? Nobody takes Muggsy's pictures, eh? The cops! All right, Muggsy. Come on, put your hands up. Yeah, you got me, coppers. Don't shoot, eh? Hold it. Nobody takes Muggsy's picture. Give me that camera. for good. Hey, boss, I got a sensational picture. Who's this? Why, this is Muggsy, public enemy number one. Doggone it, I want a sensational picture. Like an earthquake. <laughs> or a flood. Yeah, boss, or a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Now, who 
won't come back without it, boss. but grew up and started to act like a real ghost. Those witches said their brew would take effect immediately. So long, pal. I'll see you tomorrow. Hurry up and mix that brew in Casper's milk. He's coming. <laughs> You've grown. I, I just don't know what happened. Casper, at last you're a man like us. Think of what he could do on a scale rank. Casper, how about a sample of your vocal strength? Or perhaps a little boo? If you don't mind, I'll give out with a small hello. Hello! Before he brings the house down. Well, at least the roof is still standing. Golly, I wonder what happened to Casper. He's holding up the roof. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what I could do. Either he joins us in our scare raid or out he goes. Let's not get him violent or he'll throw us out. Oh, well, where are you going, Casper? To look for a friend. Haven't you outgrown that? You can never outgrow friendship. Say, that sure is a fine-looking snowman. He should be. It took us three days to build him. Say, you're a... Uh, uh, now, wait. Don't be frightened. A giant ghost! Gosh, this is terrible. Even the children run from me. There's Wendy, the poor little witch girl. Big or small, she'll always be my friend. But the shock of seeing me this big might frighten her. I've got it. I'll let her see me in easy stages. Hello, Wendy. Who said that? Down here. It's me, Casper. Ah! Casper! You know better than to frighten me like that. But I did this so you wouldn't be frightened. Now stop acting like a silly boy. Go up, Casper. Okay, Wendy, but... Now, just what do you mean by not wanting to scare me?
wait, Casper, wait! Please, Casper, no more boos and screeches. We have a confession to make. The witches gave us this brew which made you big. I'm beginning to like being big, thanks to you and the witches. Tell the witches to give you an antidote. We don't like you big. It's too shocking. Okay, Wendy, here goes the antidote. I don't need any magic to make me big, Wendy. When I'm with you, I always feel ten feet tall. <laughs>